Welcome back fellow techies to our latest tutorial video. I am the Technician Project and today's tutorial is going to show you how to animate the like button to come in from the top of the frame and bounce on your clip. So today we're going to start off in Keynote. So let's just boot our Keynote up and we're going to load a blank presentation. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove the text there and this one there. We're going to change, we're just going to zoom out a little bit actually to, so we can see our slide. We're going to click on our background and we're going to go to no fill. We've got nothing on our background at all. As you can see, there's a line through background. We've got no fill. We're going to get a like PNG image. I'm just going to drag it into our keynote. As you can see here, the big like button. And we're going to position it about there, center of the frame. Perfect. We're going to select no border. So we need to make sure it has no border and no shadow. Perfect. So we technically, we could export like that and have it as a plain like button on our screen. But we want to make it look a bit fancy. We want to improve our editing skills we want to prove our quality of our videos. We're going to make our like button come in from the top and bounce three times to get the attention of the audience. So if we click on our like button and then we go to animate at the top and go to actions, we're going to add an effect and we're going to add move. As you can see, it automatically moves to the right and it's showing a shadow of where it's moved to. We grab our main like button and drag it above our frame. So let's zoom out a little bit more so we can see. So we're gonna drag it above our frame up here. And as you can see, the red line shows where it's moving to. And we don't want it to move to an angle. We want it to move straight down like this. And you can see the green line is the center of the frame. So we're gonna center it up. Perfect. So that's gonna go straight down. So let's just watch that. There you go. So you, our like button now animates straight down. That that would work, but now let's add a bit of fun to it. So we're going to go to action, and we're going to go to add action, and we're going to go to bounce. As you can see, it started bouncing. So we're going to just change the duration. We have it at one, and we have three bounces. That's perfect. Order number two. We're just gonna to go to the bottom here, which says build order. And we're gonna make sure that number one is starting after transition. And number two, which is here, which it says bounce, is gonna start after build one. As you can see, one after each other now. So if we preview this, our like button comes in from the top and bounces three times. Perfect. Now that's what we like. That would work in our editing video. We can import that anywhere on the video we like now. So what we're going to do is we're going to export out of Keynote as a video file, a movie. There we go. And we're going to select self-playing because we want it to play on its own. And we're going to change the resolution to custom. And we're going to go to Apple Pro Res 4444. And we're going to make sure we export transparent backgrounds. So basically, we set our background to no fill. So the background will be transparent. So we're not importing a black background, which is perfect for our slides, for our YouTube videos, because we can overlay it. So let's export that. And we're going to export it as like bounce. Perfect. And we'll hit export. Just wait for that to create our movie. It shouldn't be too long, a couple of seconds maybe. There we go. So it's over here now. So if we press play on that as a quick preview, there you see it's bouncing, it's animated. Perfect. That looks lovely. What we're going to do now is we're going to put that into iMovie. So let's just boot up iMovie, our little project here. I'm going to make it bigger and just cover everything up. We don't need. Right. So this was our Tech Talks movie. 
Now, anywhere on our Tech Talks movie, we could put a like icon. So if we slam a like icon there, at the moment, it's going to play like this. Set up different scenes within their program as a large like icon on the screen. Now, we don't want that because it's a bit, it's putting you off. You can't see anything behind it. It's in your face. So we're just going to go to fit on the crop setting and we're going to go to video overlay settings and we're going to go to picture in picture and it's moved the image now over here now wherever you put your like button so if we want to just drop it in here it will come in from the top as in it will come in like it's not there so let's play our clip from where we left off gamers where they can set up different scenes within their program there it's used on twitch just, so you it just appears out of nowhere which is brilliant so i'm just going to do that so we can talk over the top of him so as you can see now it's just appearing from the middle of the screen out of nowhere uh, and it just stays there and then dissolves off perfect and that's what we want that works really well Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. And also ding dong that notification bell to get further updates. Thanks again. Goodbye.